the main category for the shader just controls the basic inputs for the shader, so stuff like color and alpha, or the texture on it, or the normal maps, stuff like that. So I can give you a quick rundown of that right now. The color settings just change the color, and the alpha will change the transparency for the transparent version. On the cutout version, it uh, works a little bit differently, so you're still gonna get uh, you're still gonna get transparency, but it's not gonna be the same at all. It's only gonna be fully opaque, and then like 50%, and then just invisible. And if you enable force opaque, that forces it to be opaque. So the transparency has no effect, or the alpha settings in the main color setting has no effect. The alpha cutoff will still have an effect. So basically, if the alpha levels of the main texture are below the alpha cutoff, they'll be invisible. So if I set a texture to this right now, go with this one, you can see that the part around her head is invisible. That's because it's transparent. So if I were to lower the alpha cutoff to zero, that transparent part would not be below zero, and it's visible. And as you increase alpha cutoff, you can see it drawing closer to her body until she's fully invisible. Now, if you had force opaque disabled, you would actually get your alpha cutoff still functions, but you should probably set it to zero because when you have force opaque enable, or when you have force opaque disabled, it generates that same like 50% opaque thing around the edges. So you get a much softer edge, which can help your cutout stuff look a lot better. If you're not going for that, just leave Force Opaque on and adjust your cutoff. So the next thing is normal maps. Normal maps just control basically which direction the surface is facing. So if I set this tile normal map onto this, you can see that the light is hitting it and it thinks that like the underside of the tile is hidden so it's within shadow. And you can control how intense that looks via the intensity slider. And that's how normals work. You can also, you can tile and offset any texture by simply clicking the name of the texture and then adjusting the tiling and offset values. The alpha mask basically controls where things should appear transparent. So if we just select alpha mask and then pick a random noise texture like this, you can see that anywhere that was anywhere that was black in the image is now going to be transparent and anything that is white will be fully opaque or fully visible. And you can adjust your alpha cutoff to kind of fade stuff in and out and the force if you disable force opaque you can see that stuff that is kind of in the gray area will be 50 percent opaque and stuff that is white will be fully opaque and stuff that's black will be fully transparent so let's just get rid of that because it's kind of hard to see what we're doing and we can go down to the advanced settings so distance fade is basically, um, it lets you fade something in and out. It's easier to see on the transparent one, so we're going to use that. So if we set the minimum distance to 1 and the max to 2, that means it's going to, when we get within 2 meters of the object, it's going to fade down to 0 opacity as you get near like 1. So the first value x is 0 alpha and the y is 1 alpha so it's going to fade from 0 to 1 alpha from 1 to 2 so 1 meter is 0 2 meters is 1 so it's fully visible let's go back to this one the pan speed just controls it makes it pan you can pan on y and x you can pan at 50% speed. How, whatever your number is here is how fast it's going to pan. So if I set it to 20, it's going to pan quickly. 
Now, when it's panning quickly like this, you can see that there's actually, it gets really pixelated and that's, it's not a bug with the shader. It's sort of a bug with Unity in the fact that when you leave Unity open for a really long time, the time value actually gets so large that it starts having imprecision. So when we're panning really quickly like this, it looks blocky because it's having imprecisions. If you were to restart your Unity and the time value were lower, you wouldn't have these precision errors. Also, in-game, your time is based on when you join the scene. So unless you were in the scene for hours, you would never see it get pixelated like this. Uh, the next one is detail normals. Detail normals work the exact same as normals, but they kind of let you stack. So if I set the um, if I set the tiling to say 1010, you can see that we have the main tiles, but then we also have smaller tiles on the main tiles, and you can adjust the intensity of those so it looks less uh, blocky, I guess. And then you'll get that. And the detail mask is just where those details should appear. So if I say got this mask, you would see that because it's just these circles, the white is where the details were appear. Where the white is where the details will appear most prominently, and the black is where they won't appear at all. So there's going to be like circles of details. Let me just disable the main normal map so it's more obvious. Increase the intensity of the secondary one. And yeah, you can see those circles. And that's everything in the main category. Thanks for watching.